from the Bay Area's news station, this is Cron 4 News at 4. First at 4 o'clock, danger on the Dumbarton Bridge when a semi-truck slams into an SUV. Both vehicles catch fire, traffic backed up for hours. It all started when a driver's car stalled on the bridge and then just minutes later gets wrecked by a big rig that can't stop in time. Crown Force Kate Thompson is live in East Palo Alto with what happened today. Kate. Well, all eastbound lanes of the Dumbarton Bridge were closed for about three and a half hours today, causing a traffic nightmare for a lot of people. Couldn't get over the Dumbarton Bridge in those eastbound lanes. The crash happening just on this bridge, uh, right over the curve. That is where a Mazda protege stalled in the right-hand lane and then was smashed into just minutes later by a tractor trailer. Luckily, there were no injuries during this crash but a huge fire. I ran into a bike rider who was riding his bike across the bridge as this crash happened. He caught it all on video and spoke to the driver of the car just minutes after the crash. I was coming over the bridge. I saw a stalled car and I was like, oh, that's not a good place to have a stall right on the bridge. And I rode down by the time when I got to the bottom of the bridge, I heard a, you know, a smashy, crashy sound. And in my corner of my mirror, I looked back and I saw some black plume and so I totally turned around and like something you know there's a giant pile of smoke coming off the top of the bridge and that truck hit it yeah. you need to call more than AAA I was on the phone with AAA with the guy the driver out of it? Yeah, sir. Yeah, I'm the driver. My car just stalled. Her oh, car stalled there. I think that truck rear ended while I was parked there. I'm on the phone with AAA. They were going to fight it up. But is everything okay? Did you just kept going. I don't know if he's okay, but me and my mom got out. And the driver of the vehicle in the... I have no idea. We ran. We ran. There's somebody over there. We can roll some video and show you all of the smoke from when this tractor trailer hit a car that stalled in the right lane. Thick black smoke, plumes of it going up into the air. Uh, they had to send fire crews out onto the bridge to put out the fire. Both the car and the tractor trailer erupting into flames. You can see nothing left of the cab of the truck. It is just a twisted mess of metal. It completely burned out. It took them quite a few hours to to get the crash cleaned up and pulled off the bridge. Uh, the eastbound side of the bridge not opening till about 2.30 this afternoon. I spoke to the woman from Palo Alto whose car stalled out on the bridge. She was very frightened. Her car just quit on her. She had no electricity, but luckily she got out just minutes before that tractor trailer smashed into her car. I got on the phone with AAA at 11, and 11.04 is when the accident must have happened because that's when I cut off the phone with AAA and started screaming. So four minutes between the time I got out, the time I was on the phone with AAA. Scared? Scared, I, uh, out of this world, in this lane right here. In that lane right there, you had your flashers on? And well, because it was a mechanical, the battery died alternator, there were no flashers, and that was the reason why I'm like, okay, let's get out of the car. And so we got out of the car and got into a safe place. And with the bridge closed for several hours, drivers trying to get around were diverted by CHP, which set up roadblocks and were sending traffic down side streets. Cron 4's Jeff Bush spoke to many of those very frustrated drivers who were stuck in traffic. You could see the backup on Highway 84 hours after the fire was put out. Drivers were diverted onto University Avenue and told to find a different way to where they were going. It's bad, very bad. Yeah? Yeah, it's very bad because I have, have to go to the town to go back to work. Yeah, where are you going? I'm going to Newark. I live in Newark to grab to turn my truck in there. The cars and trucks were funneled down to one lane. A lot of drivers didn't hear the word about the crash and were frustrated to find out what was going on. Okay. Where are you headed? To Hayward. Well... How are you going to get there now? I guess 237 or back to San Mateo Bridge. I'm heading to Fremont for jury duty. How are you going to get there now? Uh, very carefully, 237, I hope. <laughs> I'm going Hayward. Yeah? How are you going to get there now? I don't know. <laughs> 
What should I do? Despite the inconvenience, most people took it all in stride. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm sorry to hate that this happened. You know, life happened. We just got to adjust. Yep. You uh, know, all right, take it easy. At Highway 84, Jeff Bush, Cron 4 News. Cron 4 spoke with CHP officers today to find out whether or not the driver of that car was in the right to stop on the bridge. Obviously, in this case, that decision saved lives, but here's what officials say is the standard protocol. You know, generally, we wouldn't recommend that you get out of the vehicle. However, in this situation, on a high rise, there's no place for them to go um, safe wise. And there is a pedestrian uh, walkway there where they could get to safety. Um, so in this case, it was it was fortunate that they were heads up and they were thinking and they were able to do that. But generally, we don't want people to get out of their cars. We want people to stay safe. The Dumbarton Bridge is equipped with emergency phones along the roadway.